lesson, we'll look at how to add captions and stickers. First, let's compare the video before and after adding captions and stickers. Right, let's see how it's done. In the toolbar at the bottom, tap text and then add text to bring up the text editor. Let's enter Seaside Travel Vlog. Once we're done, we can select the caption in the preview area and move it around. Using two fingers, you can enlarge or shrink the text or rotate it. Go back to the main editor where you'll see the caption track. Tap and hold the track to move it. You can also tap and hold the white bookends to change how long the caption displays for. If you need to edit the text again, tap on the text box twice to bring up the editor. Now, let's look at how to change the style. Tap the caption track and then tap style in the toolbar. Here, you can change the font, color, thickness, opacity, and more. The top row shows the font options. CapCut provides a variety of font styles, so you can pick one that matches the style of your video. Here, we'll pick Vogue, which is in keeping with the style of our video. The second row has some style templates. The outline and color changes depending on the one you choose. If you don't like a change, you can tap the None icon on the far left to restore the default style. The third row gives you color options. You can choose the text color here. Below that, you can also change the opacity of the text to choose how see-through it is. 100% means the caption shows in full. If you drag the circle left, it becomes more and more see-through. The stroke option lets you choose an outline color. Just tap a color to add an outline in that color. Below that, you can change the thickness of the outline. Move the circle right to make the outline thicker and move it left to make it thinner. The background option lets you add a block background behind the caption. Move the opacity slider at the bottom to make it more or less see-through. The shadow option adds a shadow to the text. We don't use it very often, but you can try it out. If you tap spacing, you can change the text layout. The three alignment options are for horizontal text while the right three turn the text vertical and align it as shown in the icon image. Below this, character can be used to change the letter spacing. Line is used to change the line spacing. The next tab after style is effects. CapCut provides a huge range of effects to choose from so you can find one that suits you. CapCut also provides a big choice of bubbles Tap a bubble to add it as a background to your caption. On the preview, use two fingers to enlarge or shrink the bubble. Use one finger to move the bubble. If you're using a bubble, make sure the text color stands out against the bubble color. For example, right now our text is white. If we select a white bubble, the text won't show up against the background, so make sure the colors are different. CapCut also provides ready-to-use animated text templates. In the text toolbar, select Text Template to bring up a range of templates. Tap one to use it. For example, if we tap this text template, it gets added to the timeline and is already animated. If we need to edit the text, then we can just tap the caption track in the editor and then tap the text in the preview to bring up the text editor. Now, let's look at CapCut stickers. In the top level toolbar, tap Stickers to bring up the sticker menu. CapCut has a ton of awesome stickers to choose from, and they're organized into categories. If you need to find a particular type of sticker, just swipe the category tab bar until you find the type you need. For example, our video has a fairly laid back style, so if we tap the Online Only Image tab, we can find lots of suitable stickers. Now, if we tap this sun sticker, it will be added to the video. We can then move the sticker in the preview or make it bigger or smaller. In the bottom toolbar, we can also copy the sticker or flip it around using mirror. 
There are tons of text styles and sticker styles to choose from in CapCut. But don't go too wild. Adding too many stickers or too much text can distract viewers and get in the way of your story. Moderation is key. Next time, we'll continue on a similar topic by looking at effects and filters. See you there!